morning, Arizona. Man, it is freaking hot right now. It is like nine in the morning. 114. Okay, no, this is crazy. <laughs> Bro, 115. It's literally 930 in the morning. That's actually crazy, but if you guys have not been up to date with the videos, Yesterday or last night around midnight, we literally pulled up to Arizona. As you can see, we have the BRZ behind us on the U-Haul trailer. We just towed it from San Diego about six hours away. Today, we are starting on the turbo kit install for this car. We are installing the P&L turbo kit today on the BRZ. I'm so excited, man. It's always a good time up here in Arizona. I'm excited to hang out with the boys and obviously super excited to put on the new turbo. So I apologize if I look like I just woke up because I literally just did like five minutes Go. Let's go and head to the shop, haul the BRZ, and let's get started with today's install. I'm so excited. Dude, it's so awesome. You always catch like cars just like stopping right next to the BRZ. Because <laughs> they're probably looking at it like, yo, like what the heck is that thing? It's so awesome. I've been getting so many reactions like on the road trip up here like yesterday. Everybody's just staring at the BRZ. First impressions of towing, you know, like the first day of just getting behind the wheel of a truck, towing a trailer. It's honestly not that bad guys like I was honestly really nervous before doing this and I was like yo like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this first of all I don't drive a truck to begin with second of all adding a trailer and a car on top of it it was just like oh man this this seems scary that first initial like five minutes of driving with the trailer on it is nervous you know you got to like be cautious on like turns and stuff and like make sure you're in the right lane you know when turning and speed limit stuff honestly like a day in like it feels like I'm driving a truck, you know what I mean? Like, it, it feels a little bit heavier, obviously, with the trailer behind you, but it's not bad. Like, we're just cruising, you know, at like 64. I think, honestly, I'm supposed to like keep it at 55, but <laughs> it's nice, man. It's chilling. This Ram, like, handles towing so well. It's super cool. I showed you guys last video, but it has this like, oh, sorry. It has this like camera on the back, so you can like watch the trailer as you're driving. It's so cool, man. I love this truck so much. But yeah, we got about a 20 minute drive to the shop. Let's go ahead and knock this 20 minute drive out and then unload the shop at unload the shop at the BRZ. Unload the BRZ at the shop. <laughs> well, look who pulled up. Damn, the man himself. What's up, bro? Up, good to see you again, man. I'm excited. Are you making power? I'm excited, bro. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. <laughs> That's the last time it sounds like that. <laughs> up, good to see dog? you, bro. Nice shirt. I like your shirt, man. Appreciate it, it's man. Just, yo, I, this shit's mad, <laughs> Thank you. Gonna, I try to tame a horse. Uh, With no my, saddle. My, uh... <laughs> well, we have pulled the BRZ into the shop. This is where it's literally just gonna transform over the next two days, literally. We're over here with my guy Flores Tuning. I did. He's actually gonna be tuning the BRZ once we throw everything on the car. Doing an inventory check. Looks like we got Damn. everything. That's really crazy. But excuse the fan noise, it's actually super hot in here, so we got a fan going, but we got a whole bunch of just parts everywhere. We got the manifold, we got obviously the turbo. This is the Garrett G30 uh, 660. This is the turbo that we're gonna be putting onto the BRZ. And wow, dude, this is real, bro. It's so freaking crazy. I actually just holding this and seeing it, this is gonna be so crazy. So Flores Tuning is the guy who actually tuned Austin's 86, the red 86 that I've always showed on the channel up here in Arizona. Uh, so this is his car. He is literally pushing, I believe, like 660 to the wheels. It's crazy, guys. So he actually tuned this as well. It has the same exact turbo kit as the one I'm gonna be installing today. Uh, he just has a hood exit, but I'm not gonna have the hood exit. I believe his turbo is a little bit bigger than mine, but uh, the same from the same company, P&L. It's so crazy. Me and Austin are gonna be somewhat twinning. I'm not gonna lie, a big inspiration on my build and why I wanted to turbocharge my car. Ever since he took me for a ride along in his car, like, I don't even know, months ago, I was like, all right, I am sold on a turbo for my car. You guys are probably wondering how much power are we gonna be running on my car now 
Austin is telling me, and I've heard, that the least amount of power I can run with my turbo setup is literally 500. So that is wild. You know, we did the supercharger on the FRS that was literally like 360 wheel at, at the end of the day. But with this turbo kit, looks like we're gonna be pushing at least at least, at least, at least 500, which is insane. I'm not too sure if it's gonna be in this video, but we're gonna be throwing the car on the dyno. As you can see, Flores has a dyno here at his shop. So once we finish installing the kit, we're gonna be slapping it on the dyno right here and tuning the BRZ right here. Bro, how long has it been since we like first talked about this? Like when I was like, oh, I want a turbo. Like, January, it's like six months. It was months. January, huh? Six, months, six yeah. months in the making, bro. I was telling the vlog, bro, it's like a big inspiration right here. Why I want a turbo in my car. <laughs> once you. I knew as soon as I took the ride, yeah. it was over. I was saying like, dude, after that ride along, I was sold. I was like, I need to turbo this one. Yeah. Uh, we got Austin get on the dyno. That's like a good 10 horsepower. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, very minimal experience and knowledge on like turbo kits, so I'm so thankful that we have the boys over here, they go Austin and Flores helping me out on the install today. And we're moving already, man. Actually comes with a new bash bar and mounts straight up to the intercooler. Now we're working on the oil pan and these Subarus, they put so much gasket make on the oil pans. You gotta use uh, like a drywall scraper, so. Yeah, once we get that off, we'll get the new pan on and then we can start bolting turbo stuff on. This is the part I'm actually like curious on because this is the, you know, the common issue, right? With RTV yeah. on these cars. I got so, lucky, dude. I had like, I had like this much in mind. It was not. Oh, barely any? So we're going to take this pan off and we'll give you guys a look out at the uh, pickup tube and see, see what yeah. it looks like in there. Yeah, we just drained the oil. We're going to take the pan off and we're going to check my tube. And I don't know, I'm kind of curious because this was a job I wanted to do a long time ago, but I was just like, nah, like I'll just hold off on it. So we'll see right now. Pain. They use so much RTV. Yeah. Uh, apparently Subaru puts too much RTV. Uh, they put too much gasket on the oil pan. So it dries up and then it goes into the oil and then it gets stuck in the oil pickup tube. And it just caused like a lot of like engine failure for like a lot of people. So uh, that was just like one big thing when these cars first came out. You guys will see once we take the pan off, like all of the gasket that's around it. Uh, Austin already took off all the bolts around it and literally just trying to pry it off. You don't want to use this kind of half of it done. Damn, just like that? Bro, that's crazy. I've never freaking removed an oil pan off my car. Check for silicon. Can I put your phone back a little bit? Like, oh, you actually have a lot. Yeah, it's real common. Screwdriver. Just dripping on your phone. So all that gray right oh, there. It's really not that bad. Yeah, it's not. It's not that bad. It's like right here and then up here. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see on the oil pan, all this is just like excess RTV. There you go. Like, just drops some. Oh, you drop some? <laughs> yeah. This was all up in your tube. Yeah. So that was all up in there. Right? And, and that. Jeez. It would have been all bad. Me and Drew are doing the fun part. <laughs> what are we doing? We're scraping. RTV. We're scraping every single freaking piece of old RTV for a. Because we have to do a fresh seal when we put the new oil pan on. Having some bonding time, just scraping all this like old stuff off. <laughs> so, what, what, what kind of uh, fuel pump are we getting here to achieve 500 horsepower? This is the full blown motorsports. I believe they have the 485. It what, should be good for 500, 600 wheel horsepower. Dude, I haven't done this since my supercharger on the FRS. I honestly forgot how to do it though. Is it loose enough to take off with your hands? Ow. Yeah, I did that too. Oh, there we go. Hopping in Jordan Z. Quick little uh, part slash tool run. We're gonna grab some tools. Damn, the freaking pops. You'll hear it and it'll just, just like be pop, holding pop. a flame like oh, this. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get some night clips, bro. You've seen it, right? Not yeah, like Jordan's reels, here. yeah. <laughs> oh, I wanna hate on it because like I'm just not a stance boy, but it's fun. <laughs> it's fun to drive, it's fast. Dude, it's crazy how Jordan just like lets you drive all this car. My boy sure has. That's so awesome. Everything. Like Jordan can borrow anything of mine. Yeah. I can borrow anything of his. Damn, that's 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 real. Right there. <laughs> Look 
look under, we got the new header installed, the equal length. It's gonna sound so much different. Uh, the headers before had the Tomate and Equal Length. These are Equal Length, so it's gonna sound much more like high pitch. We got the new oil pan with the oil drain that connects to the turbo. And then that header comes up and with a clamp goes right to the turbo. It's currently all hands on deck right now. Austin's doing something. Chris is doing even a bigger something. I'm doing the easy stuff. <laughs> Cody su Cody's supervising. Aaron's messing with the front pipe. Uh, everyone put in the comments below how long until uh, the state rep comes. <laughs> AutoZone, we are picking up oil for the Beer Z. Gosh, this thing needs to shut up. All that's left is installing the wastegate and putting new oil in the Beer Z. Uh, as you guys saw yesterday, we removed the oil pan because we had to put the new oil pan on the car for the oil line to the turbos. I think we've got to run 5W30 now. That's what Flores Tuning said instead of 0W20, which is factories. Turbo kit's completely installed. Um, I'm gonna go over everything that we've done gearing up to do the first start right now and just make sure there's no oil leaks, anything like that. Obviously this is the turbo, We've got our oil line right here since so the oil feeds. Uh, oil drain's gonna be right down there. We've got our map sensor, so a three bar map sensor installed, wall belt installed. Hey guys, underneath got the intercooler, the intake, under here, turbo manifold, down pipe, and then I actually had a three inch front pipe over pipe combo that I gave Chris because I'm not using it anymore. So all the airflow, got all of our uh, O2 sensors hooked up, wastegates in there. So we are good to go. We're gonna put oil in this thing and uh, we're gonna start it up, make sure there's no leaks. You feel nervous? I am. I'm honestly more nervous than anything right now. Power prediction. 527. 527. Power prediction. 530. Power prediction? 550. Power prediction? Power prediction? Yep. 532. So my power prediction is gonna be, I think it's gonna beat my record, even though my car makes more power now, I think it's gonna make like 560. First startup, bro, I, I'm shitting brakes right now, I'm not even lying. <laughs> we got Flores doing his thing. Got three sets of eyes watching this thing when he starts his car. <laughs> he says start. <laughs> He's all impatient. So apparently the fuel pump's not turning on, right? I think yesterday we heard it, I believe, when Austin was testing it, but I think now it's not. Oh, shit. So, every car is different, even though you and I have pretty much identical setups. You can't just take my tune and copy and paste it into your car. Example, it won't start. So, <laughs> you just gotta, you just gotta mess with your fueling a little bit um, so we can get it to start up. Alright, so while we have some downtime, we're adjusting something with the fuel pump. But um, here's Daniel from Flores Tuning. He oh, yeah. is tuning everything on the BRZ. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna like want to know, you know, who you are, like what do you specialize in, like. So I've been tuning suitors since about 2012. I went to school to do it. I learned how to zero out a Motec ECU and nice. set up the dyno. It was kind of funny actually. They had a Scion FRS and yeah. a Corvette ZR1. And they said, if you can tune this car, you can tune this car. And Sick. at the end of the day, it's all the same. I did real estate for a little while, but I, this is my dream. This is my love. And nice. I've been trying to get into this dyno room for a few years now. This is my shop now. Yeah. So, so literally the first car, huh? Tuned in your shop? Yeah, this Pretty is the much. first car that we're tuning at the shop. Nice. Uh, so this is gonna be the first car that we make power on. So if you guys need any tuning work, like if you just 
Only Subarus? Or do you like... Uh, I do everything. Oh, everything. Shoot. I mean, if you guys need a tune, you do like remote tunes, right? Yeah, I do remote okay. tunes. Half the cars that tune, I never even see in person. Oh, wow. Okay, so just, you know, in person or remote, hit him up. I'll put his like tag right here on the screen and in the description. If you guys need a tune for any, whatever car you have. And uh, once again, appreciate Thank you so much. Man. I appreciate the business and the support. Yeah, dude. It's it's been a process, I mean, a couple days, but we're getting there, closing oh, in. Knocked this out pretty quick. I'm excited, man. This is, this is what happened. The reality. You always forget something, so I forgot yeah. a little clip on the fuel pressure regulator. We're good. We should start up now. It's like a little plastic piece from the stock fuel pump that we forgot to put on for transfer over. So now it should start. First start up, it started up, let's go. So now he's just pretty much just gonna tweak it right now? Yeah, like this tune? Right now. Okay. Bro, he's standing right there. 